after creating your web content, the first thing you want to do is put it up on the web. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, there are several FTP or file transfer protocol programs out there, and one is Dreamweaver, uh, commonly used in the community. And I'm going to show you how to put this content on the web using Dreamweaver. And uh, I've put my uh, web page here. I've created a simple web page uh, of a dra dragon. And, and it's in my uh, uploads folder here on the desktop. And you could put this anywhere. Uh, you could have the content anywhere in your system. I just have to have it on my desktop to make it easier for this tutorial. And if you click on this uh, little index page here, up will come a web page. And uh, there's my picture of a dragon with a little blurb here that I grabbed from Wikipedia. So now let's put that up on the web. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is open up Dreamweaver. And once you've done that, uh, we're going to create a new site. So we're going to go to the site. And here you can see Manage Sites. That's all my old sites. And I can go to those and navigate and get onto the server and transfer um, information from there. Or you want to click on New Site, since this is a brand new site. And let's go ahead and give it a name. I'll call it Chinese Dragon. And that will be the name that I refer to. And notice I'm in the Advanced uh, tab here, and that's where you want to do it in Dreamweaver. And uh, the next is local root, and I'm gonna basically what I'm doing is find my folder that has the dragon in it. So there's the uploads folder right there, and select that. And then the next tab is a remote info, and I'm gonna choose FTP because I'm FTPing up on the web, and I'm gonna type in my web address. In this case, it's www.fromInfinity. Dot biz. And uh, the host directory you can leave blank if you don't know what your host directory is. Uh, or and then once you log into the server, you can you can tab down through it. In this particular case, it's htdocs. Now it could be http underscore html, could be html, could be www. Just depends on your server configuration. I put my login name in and put in my password. And I always hit test because from time to time I make a spelling error. It just saves me retyping everything. So I know I'm ready to go into the web. So just hit OK. And what Dreamweaver does now is uh, creates a panel right here. Here's a little double panel folder here looking thing. And we expand this to show local and remote sites. So you click on that. And on the right side is my uh, local um, computer. And on the left side is my... Uh, server and I have to click this little connect button to connect and when I do that I open up my server and there's and I'm in HTT docs HTT docs excuse me and what I want to do is create a folder uh, to put my website up so just click on new folder and we'll type in Chinese site and the next thing you want to do is go ahead and just drag from the right side your website over to the left side. And now the material is going to be transferred over to the server. You want to be careful when dragging that you make sure you drag right onto the folder that you want to drop the material in. If you were to drag into another folder, you have, there's always a potential of replacing files, like index is a common file name to start off with. And if another folder, for example, let's see my blog has index in it, it would actually replace that index uh, file and um, erase what you have. So you want to be careful where you drop that material. And so now you have your folder, your website up on the web. It's that easy. And anyone in the world can now view it. And let's go to the web and view that website. So I'm going to open up Explorer here. And we're going to type in our new address, www.fromInfinity.biz um, and slash Chinese site. And there you have it. There's our Chinese site up on the web. And uh, this is something that you'll, you'll become second nature as you do it over and over again. Just watch this video as many times as you need.